Got some mirrors. Got a set of mirrors for the Viva. Was that an overreaction? Got some shelves too, although I haven't started tidying up properly yet. Favourite words that, isn't it? Got some shelves, start getting stuff off the floor, and I could do with another set, really. Get it all nice and tidy. So I've got some mirrors, I bought some base plates for them, and I've also got some weather strips. Right, let's crack on. Mirrors, I won these on eBay for 20 quid. And uh, bought some base plates from Bad Boy Classics. I think they were £4 each for the, the kit for the base plates. So let's get these fitted. These base plate thingies I've got, I've got them on, the bung things on the end. I think they go on and they're meant to push into the holes in the doors. I don't know if they're meant to be like plugs before you put the screws in, then expand or what. But uh, they're for an MG. But call is crazy, I'm just going to hacksaw them off. Otherwise, I'm going to have to drill the holes in the door bigger. And you never know, I might come across a matching mirror to mine it, like a classic car jumble or something like that. So I'm just going to cut them off for now. The fitting kit was cheap enough, so if I ever want to do, do it properly, I'll just get another fitting kit. But first, let's take her for a little drive, eh? Test out that gearbox oil. Aye, why not? She's running a bit low, so I've got 12 litres of the finest 99 octane in here. Now this was awkward, trying to fill the car next to the wall with a big jerry can. Camera rolling in now. Lucas, when you go, can I go? Yes, get yourself in. When and I will stay upstairs. No, Lucas, Dad's gonna fix it first, you dummy. Dad's gonna fix it first, you dummy. Stay down, a bit. Oh, okay. Wow, that after that gearbox oil change, it certainly is still whiny. <laughs> That's a bit whiny, what's going on? It's <laughs> a bit kind clunky. Of, um, <laughs> I've got stuff in the bootleg. Oh. It's 47 year olds, isn't it? <laughs> What's that noise? I've got stuff in the boot. Oh. Are oh, you talking about the whining noise? Yeah. That's the gearbox. Oh. It's a clutch wobbling around something. No. <laughs> I don't know. Oh! You like it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dad, someone's checking on them cards that you're talking about. Do you know the two yeah, blue and. He lives there. As long as it's warm like this, I won't have to do the heaters for going for a drive. I know that. Yeah. Is mum yeah. scared again? Did you say? Yeah, Be, not Mia. Mia. Oh, do you want the proper headlights as well? What is it, a Miata? Yeah. Oh, um, MX5. MX5 or whatever. Yeah. It's an MX5, that one, I think.
Is that good? Yeah, are you going to put the steer in the cup? The right, let's fit these door mirrors and the weather strips, which I'll show you in a minute, just the one of them for now. And let's maybe set the, the enrichment on the cob. Enrich or derich? I can't remember. <laughs> How do you say it? Enrich it or lean it? Let's do something. Right, I'm not exactly being gentle on these, but they're just a plastic base plate that's hidden by the base plate of the mirror anyway. The plastic. <laughs> Dad, yeah, dude. Are we going to ride the car in a minute? Not in a minute, in an hour or something. Dad. Well, <laughs> I'd be a bit more general with them and uh, make a cleaner cut if they're going to be on display, but they're not. There we go, matching set of wing mirrors. Bargain price of 20 quid, one off eBay, a little bit of postage, and then base plates for four quid each. Probably, maybe not as good as the original ones, I don't know, but did I fit them right? <laughs> Call is crazy, I don't know why, because, well, they, they look cool. I just fancy finding another one of these, another one that screw into the door. Yeah, I might find one in an auto jumble at a classic car show. You never know. Let's see if we can sort out that running the shoot to see if it's too too rich on the cob, the fuel. I know where, uh, because the youngest wants to go out for a little air, uh, running the car. Most people have said it sounds like it's running too rich. A few people have said it sounds like it's running too lean. Hope it's too rich, because it's burning fuel. <laughs> Right, I've leaned it off a bit, the fuel, if that's how you say it. And the youngest is desperate to go for a drive in it. So before I fit the weather strip, I'm going to take him out for a little journey around the block and up past the pub and stuff like that. What's that? What's right, that? I've leaned out the mixture. And I'm putting the windscreen wipers on instead of the air indicators. Sit back, dude. Why are you parking the middle road? What? Why are you parking the middle road? Dad. 
Look, look, Dad. I have to go quick because there's a car coming. <sighs> Don't you have to go quick? Sorry, guys. Right, evidently. That was too lean. Just adjusted the car back up a little bit. You only meant to adjust it in the link on you. Last. Oi, cow. Let's see. Right, let's go, dude. Definitely need to adjust more than that car, but I don't know if I've got the... Is it the, the bolt on and the cam thing? Is up, I think it's touching that and pushing it, if you know what I mean. I sure won't get home, but... Oh. Yeah. She's running pretty... Pretty feisty, that, like. What do you reckon, Lucas? Second to better. Watch out for that old lady. Are you wanna go back? Yeah, what do you reckon? Do you think it's running better? Well it's not cutting out. <laughs> Are you going to crash? No, I'm not going to crash. I know, because I need that figure there. Can it? Oh yeah, of course, it can, sir. exhaust blocked or something. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ooh! 
I've backed that bolt off that sits in the cam. I can't show you because you can't get it. The engine bay very good with the, the air filter on. I'll show you this in a book next time. Or some of you, most of you probably know, but uh, I'll take the air filter off and show you. But I've, I've backed the bolt off that cam so it isn't hitting when the choke comes out, if you know what I mean. And I've adjusted the idle speed and it seems to be running pretty sweet. So I'm going to fettle on with the, the fuel adjustment again more. And I've got time next time. Massive thank you to Gary O'Neill who gave me this old school torque wrench spot on this like uh, proper cool bit of kit. I'm going to have to get all professional and start putting the torque relations on my videos. Aye, right, brilliant bit of kit. Thank you, Gary. Right. Let's get this uh, weather strip fitted on the outside of the car. This weather strip here needs a little TLC as you can see. So I'm going to try and replace this one. I did buy all four. But the other ones are all right for now. Call me crazy. Well, I ordered these from East Kent Trim. And I bought four, a set of four for a Ford Ovox or Viva HC. Now, call me crazy, but I thought they were just going to be ready to fit. I didn't know they were going to be oversized and you had to cut them. Are these, are they just like a generic weather strip? I paid 40 quid for all four of these delivered. Are these just like a generic weather strip you can get from any other place? Does anyone know cheaper? Right, let's see if we can get the old one out and cut one of these to fit. Here's one of the clips already out of the window when we dad pop one out, pop them out to tell us which ones to buy. Well, I haven't bought any. Don't know if these can be reused or not, but at least let's try and jam a weather strip in there for now. Need to remove the clips that hold this in, in here. Oh, oh dear. I do have the proper workshop manuals. The actual like training service manuals that the garage has had. Bought a full set of them for, I think it was 20 quid. I bought it a little while ago. I saw them full set. I've only got the updated supplements for two of them though, I think. Not that that much changed. But these are cool like. And it says to remove the trim on the weather strips, I need two VR2063. I don't have that, but I do have a butter knife. I mean, yeah. I do have the tool. I have the specialist tool for removing the clips. How do these go on? Are you meant to put them on a bite into it? Whoop! Yep, that one's out. And that one's out. Right, mark that up with a hacksaw, mark that up with a hacksaw, and I've cut that there. Just need to cut this section here. Got a little overzealous because I wanted a clean cut, cut from your kneeling mat. <laughs> oh. So I've just jammed that in there for now. See there, cut that there. I could do with trimming a little bit off there. Around. What's on there for now? It's just jammed in. So I've just jammed that in there for now till I work out what to do with these. What, what's the deal with these? Is it meant to be another part of this? I know this is like rotted out. But am I meant to stick this to summon and then it goes in the window? Are these meant to be a direct replacement? Can I reuse these thingies? What are they for? Are they meant to just like bite into there? But like I say, there's more material on there. So. Uh, that won't reach all the way down into the thingy bob, will it? Has anyone had these before? Has anyone used these from East Kent Trim? East Kent Trim Supplies. They top the depth there. Like of this thing that goes and clicks in the thingy bobs. 
Let us know, please. Comments below if you know anything about them. Anyway, there's a weather strip jammed on there for now. And it's, it'll stop water getting in, so it's doing a job for now, but I want it secured into place. Disaster, look. I dropped the barrel when I was fitting it. Well, I, I'll try to yank it from inside, and then it actually pulled it off the mount. It's on there solid now, though, but my own fault. Well, I wish I had more time after them two runs out and fettling of the carb and changing the cam and stuff like that. I want to give it another run. But I've run out of time. Part of the kid's fault, part of my own fault. Only had one and a half days off, it turned out this week, so not much time to invest in me making a vid. But anyway, once another like uh, 90,000 years of watching every week, then I'll quit my job and I'll do this full time. <laughs> I really want to give it a run out there as well. Uh, it stopped doing once I adjusted that cam thing on the carb, it stopped doing that hoof da, hoof da. And it just started going on the throttle. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Behind your frozen eyes, skies are hidden and laughter. Make me feel just one more thing than I. Even though the night spies the thing you're after, realize you're something more than I.